Oh, coming back at you. Black Tiger. This time, we're going to read an article together. I found this one day, and it's hilarious. So, uh, let's give it a go, shall we? I made the pizza cinnamon rolls from Mario Batali's sexual misconduct apology letter. The fact that a person wrote the sexual misconduct apology letter and included a recipe is bizarre, to say the least. Humorous, abstractly, and... Uh, weird as well so let's start reading this and uh see how much more bizarre it will become and uh yeah let's just get into it last night i made cinnamon rolls i'm not a huge fan of cinnamon rolls per se see now this person this this is the definition of pretension right here needlessly adding interjections like that that don't contribute anything to the overall you know story or the structure or you know even the paragraph or sentence alone so and it's like yeah, whatever okay fine listen to me gripe about how a person oh opinion people people have opinions blah, 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 blah. they express them too many times blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but this recipe was included in mario batali's sexual misconduct apology letter and so i feel compelled to make them. So because it was included in a sexual misconduct apology letter, she feels compelled to make them? Alright, that's weird. Batali is not the first powerful man to request forgiveness for inappropriate actions towards his co-workers and employees. He is not the most high profile, and he is ostensibly not even the worst offender. Ostensibly. Ostensibly. But he is the only one who included a recipe. Yeah, now now he got you. Bait. You took the bait, you <laughs> fishy fish. Splish splashing around in your stupid dish. And of course, the glaring question is why? Was this PR team drunk? Is life suddenly a really long, depressing SNL sketch? Make sure to watch SNL, guys. Brainwashing, 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 brainwashing you, brainwashing you, brainwashing you. <laughs> Do these cinnamon rolls somehow destroy the patriarchy? What? Why? Oh my gosh, she wants to destroy the patriarchy. She's a feminist. Ooh, I'm a feminist. I fight for women's rights and the patriarchy is going to go down. I'm going to smash with my woman fury fist. Eh. Does the icing advocate for equal pay? We already have equal pay. Oh my goodness. Unequal pay is illegal. It's against the law. Like, what the hell are you talking about? You're talking about a wage disparity if you're actually talking about what actually exists. And it's not even a... And so what is a disparity? It's for logical reasons. So it's not unfair. Get over it. Learn to deal, to deal with life. I figure the only way to answer these questions is to make the damn rolls. I bake a lot. Never want to pass up on a pun. My husband doesn't bring me flowers, but flowers. I become skilled to the point that I can make a dessert from virtually anything. Hair, piss, blood. <laughs> but I can have a small cake made from start to finish, including bagel time, baking time, bagel time, that sounds tasty right now, on the table in about half an hour. Good baking, I've been told, comes from love, and shriekly as that sounds, there's that pretension again. I find some truth in it. Good baking means being able to roll with setbacks and mistakes in ovens that for some reason run 20 degrees hot, but only on Sundays. A metaphor so aligned with loving someone that it feels almost too obvious. The hell are you talking about? <laughs> Good baking requires an attention to detail and care that is hard to muster when you just don't give a shit or you're distracted by your own rage. Because you're a woman, and you're PMSing! But don't, don't tell me I'm PMSing! I'm not in my period! <laughs> Good baking means you have to trust yourself. I find myself fluctuating between apathy and anger as I try to follow the tally's recipe, which is sparse on details. It's, it's just a little sparse. The base of the rolls is pizza dough, but Tali knows that you can either buy it or use his recipe to make your own. I make my own because I'm a woman, and for us, there are no fucking shortcuts. Ugh! There are no fucking shortcuts. Uh, yeah, see, no, that's Betty Crocker says to differ. Uh, all these pre-mix, you know, things back to differ, and so are the sales, so. Uh, shut up, lady. Oh, I'm everything from scratch because I'm a woman. We don't take shortcuts because we're women. Nine months, nine months, my vagina. <laughs> 
we spent 25 years working our asses off to be the most qualified presidential candidate in U.S. history, and we get beaten out by a sexual deviant who likely needs to call the front desk for help when he's trying to order pornos in this hotel room? See, there it is right there. There it is right there. That pins it. That's one of the reasons why she's insane. She actually thinks Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Clinton is more qualified as if she wasn't involved in the Benghazi scandal where they lied to the American public about their knowledge on who was responsible, Ansar al-Sharia, for the attack, according to the emails that we, you know, have available to us, the State Department emails, uh, you know, so, shut that, you're so, oh my goodness, you're, that's why she's insane. Donald Trump is president, so I'm making it like goddamn dough by scratch. So I want to punch the dough, like I want to punch Donald Trump in the face. And according to Twitter, I'm doing it because I hate men. It's like, what? What are you projecting? Like, your mind is full of asinine retardery. <laughs> your psyche is so fragile and, like, shattered. This is sad, really. I use Batali's recipe that he's linked to, which I've made before, and I'm already hesitant. Pizza dough is chewy and crispy, not tender. The latter is what you'd hope cinnamon rolls would be. It's a savory recipe, incorporating white wine and a generous amount of salt. I, and, and I feel like he's shoehorning it into a dessert where it doesn't belong. He's cutting corners because he gets to cut corners. Because he is a man, and he has a penis, and uh, he's whopping his penis around, cutting corners, and hitting bitches in the face with his massive man cock. This video is definitely not advertiser friendly anymore. She rolls out the dough. I roll out the dough. Vitaly specifies a thickness, a, a girth, a nice big girth, but no dimensions, which is strange if you're making a roll dessert. Only a nice girthy roll. There are pieces missing here, and I'm trying to fill those gaps. Oh yeah, she's got to fill her gaps. Mm, she needs a gap filled. The result will be subpar because he hasn't provided all the information and I will blame myself because I'm a woman and I'm self-doubting and I blame myself for everything, even things that I didn't do. <laughs> I baste a layer of melted butter over the dough. Mmm, baste it so hard. Baste that dough. The guy on Twitter tells me that I'm a vile man-hater. His feed contains a photo of my very alive husband wearing a feminist t-shirt. Underneath, he's written the message, R.I.P. I sprinkle the sugar and cinnamon over the top. I think about that time that I was an intern at a local news station and assigned to hand out cake while celebrating some milestone. It had to do with the Salt Lake City Winter Olympics. I'm, I'm kind of important. Uh, one of the producers I've been working with closely walked up to the table. Do you want a piece? I asked seductively. Yeah, he said, looking me up and down. Oh, you mean of cake? No, thanks. He and another male staff member laughed while I stood, holding a piece of cake in each hand, dumbstruck. Batali does not specify how tightly to roll the dough. I do so tightly because fuck everything. <laughs> fuck everything. I've heard that in so many movies. They want they want everyone to say that now. They want uh, they want everyone in society to say fuck everything, nihilism. Yeah, nihilism, so cool. Oh, nothing matters. Nothing means anything. Oh, uh, stupid. Nihilism's a waste of life. I'm not even gonna go. Okay, yeah. To, no, that, that's another subject for another day. We'll get there eventually, guys. If you keep on rocking with the black tiger. So, she remembers. I remember the time another producer walked his fingers across my lap while I was typing on a computer. I turned to stare at him, and he grabbed my badge, which was clipped to my waist. I just wanted to see how your last name was spelled. I think I've used too much dough. <laughs> like, where's her mind, like, bouncing in and out of, like, this is funny. And, okay, if that actually happened, did you report it to HR? I Please, I hope you actually reported that to HR, because that's not appropriate. And that person shouldn't be in the workplace. I worked at a place once, and there was a manager that I felt was being inappropriate. And I reported him to HR, you know? You shouldn't feel afraid to do that. That's what they're there for. Uh, people, please. I think about how the last conversation about compensation 
I had resulted in someone who made more yearly than I ever will telling me I was holding them emotionally hostage and then demanding to know over and over again why I needed the money. Just tell me, they demanded. Tell me why you need it. Over and over. Until it broke me. Like, okay, yeah. If you want more money, then tell them why you need it. <laughs> then they're, they're not obligated to just give you free money for no reason. Like, why do you need more money? Oh, I want to go gambling and, uh, you know, spend it all on lotto tickets. Okay, no. <laughs> like, jeez. <laughs> Until it broke you. Yeah, okay, so you're so weak you can't negotiate for higher pay. That's your problem. Uh, get over it. There are seminars on that. There are lectures for that. There are books for that. What are you, an infant? Are you infantile? Are you helpless? Are you an invalid? <sighs> Anyways. If they are edible... I will eat every single one of these fucking rolls myself, because I'm a fat bitch, and I'm full of rage, and I gotta pound these down, oh, yeah, this is gonna take away the brain, oh, no, no, oh, my nummies, num oh, my nummies, I need to call some guy over here to come bang my pussy, mmm, cinnamon rolls, so good, I'm a fat bitch. Natalie says to cut them in slices. Roughly three inches, three inches thick, which is too wide. Oh, the rolls should not be that thick. They should not be that thick. I know this is wrong, but I do it anyways, because I have no moral standards. And that's what the recipe says. I'm not following my gut and cutting them thinner. If I had, I suspect the results would have been better. But for most of us, going off book isn't an option, Mr. Wave your penis around, man. Slapping people with your big man cock. Going off the book. Slapping the book out the way with your giant cock. There is no estimation of how many rolls the recipe should yield. Vitaly says to place the rolls in a small cake pan. But again, there are no dimensions. My husband hovers close by, doing a little excited jig, like a little Irish wuss. Few things delight him like elaborate desserts, made for no apparent reason on a weeknight. But he soon links the pieces together and stops dancing. Oh God, he says. These are those cinnamon rolls, aren't they? I nod, realizing that he sees that I'm insane. I put them in the oven. I think about how Michelle Williams makes less than $1,000 for a reshoot of a movie for which Mark Wahlberg made $1.5 million because he negotiated a better contract and she did not. So it's fair. Deal with it. Because I've rolled them too tightly, the middle pops up and out of one of the rolls. Ugh. One of the cinnamon rolls has a fucking erection. Ew. See, that's funny. I didn't even have to throw that in there. She actually says that. <laughs> she, this woman is so so incensed that she's seeing, she's seeing dicks in food objects now because they have protrusions. Like, geez, any dangling thing is a cock to you now? The recipe calls for too much icing. And the result is that the rolls are drenched in it. And we've reached the... Are you fucking kidding me? Portion of the recipe. It's like it's like they bukkake icing all over it. They just like icing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna load your biscuit with icing. I'm gonna get icing all over the place. Ugh. The pizza dough does not mix well with the sweetness. Oh my palate, Ugh. so bad. The icing is sickly sweet. The rolls themselves oddly savory. I was right about the texture. The dough is too tough. I hate them, but I keep eating them. Oh, I'm a fat bitch. Like I'm somehow destroying Vitaly's shitty sexist horcrux in every bite. Ooh, horcrux. Listen to me. I'm so pretentious. Horcrux. I'm like horse crap. I remind myself that is not how recipes work. This isn't even how dark magic works. You might as well be an evil wizard, Vitaly. You jerk. I know that in the court of the internet, any output that is less than perfect will be blamed on me. Oh, and not on a hastily written, untested recipe. I've made flaky pie crusts in the kitchens of Airbnbs using warped cutting boards and a bottle of wine as a rolling pin. I'm a veteran, god dang it. But this won't matter. I've fucked up the recipe. Oh, it's all my fault. Oh, society's always going to blame me because I'm a victim woman. I'm a victim woman. Most women don't even need to hear the shitty comments made to us anymore. We've heard them so many times, we can create our own.
All right, see, this is the funny part. You, you, you think you have a monopoly on being uh, made fun of and called names? Hey, fat tits. Hey, bitch tits. Hey, hey man tits. Hey, uh, hey, fatty. Hey, penis son. Hey, uh, hey, queer mo. Hey, faggot. Like, anyone can make fun of people and call them base insults. And it happens all the time to guys and girls equally from their peers because people are mean, and that's how they express that meanness in a social context when they're communicating verbally. So, you know, uh, you're not so special like that lady. Oh my goodness. Maybe if you spent less time whining about men who want to fuck you, which you should take as a compliment because who the hell would want to fuck you anyways, and more time in the kitchen, this wouldn't happen. That's one of the uh, comments that she made up in her, head, in her head that she probably found on Twitter. You know, maybe. Who knows? Or she made it up. Who cares? I throw the rest of the cinnamon rolls in the trash, just like Batali should be. Okay, fine. I lied. I, I ate two more. Oh, I ate two more. Oh, yeah. I love the cinnamon rolls. They're so tasty. In my tummy, I'm a fat bitch. Of course you did. JFC, you're disgusting, and your husband does not love you. Vitaly is another drop in the bucket. He's not the first. He certainly won't be the last. He already isn't. The misogyny runs so deep that the calls now come from inside our heads. Um, no, you're just hearing voices in your head because you're crazy. We blame ourselves. Yeah, no, you blame yourself. We hate ourselves. Yeah, you hate yourself. We wonder if our skirts are too short, if our bodies are too noticeable. Maybe you do, but there are other women that know their bodies are noticeable, and they take money, you know, they take advantage of that financially by getting paid for that. You know, they'll, they'll be models or actresses, things like that. So, like, what are you talking about? We're asking for too much or not enough. It's either this way or that way, and it's never right this way or that way. It's always like, whoa, which way you gotta go? I'm going, oh, this, blah, blah, blah. no, still mad, still mad, still mad, still <laughs> mad. We don't trust ourselves, even when we should. Yeah, because you're a woman, you should doubt yourself. <laughs> we try to follow a half-written recipe and think it's our fault when it doesn't work. Um, I think that was a fully written recipe. You just didn't like it because you're dumb. We need to undo an entire humanity's history with of hate against women. Apologies are a good start. Just skip the goddamn recipe. Um, I don't think this lady's ever heard of dessert pizza. They use pizza dough uh, crust, and then they put, like, you know... Some kind of streusel topping on it, like blueberry or cherry or something, and then icing, and it's pretty good. They used to do it at Pizza Hut, the Pizza Hut buffet, when that was a thing, and I used to just go there for it. Now it's all Pizza Hut Express, overpriced. Uh, don't can't can't sit down and get it and get the hell out. Like that's that's so man, you guys are jerks. Oh, they killed the sit down restaurant, the pizza chain, kind of. But anyways. All right, yeah, this woman was crazy, and uh, that, that article is proof, and I think that was pretty funny, so. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I got so little time left. Uh, subscribe, like the video, donate to my Patreon, donate to my Patreon, and donate to my Patreon. Black Tiger, peace out, donate to my Patreon.